Luna versus Razo. Luna actually has uh, some incredible wins in the past week. He beat, um, it was T3 Dome, uh, Sweet T, and I'm hit twice at the ESA tournament last week. Oh, and nice. Just today, he actually had some uh, pretty decent wins as well. Oh! Whoa. But Razo not going to give a <laughs> damn about those wins. He's just going to take them out with the expert gimp. Exactly how you should play the cloud matchup. A very linear and vulnerable recovery. Mm -hmm. That was a nice attempt by uh, Luna there, though. That was a really big comeback from Luna. Just come out off the gate with that for much percent. And he really just tacking on to Razo. Goes to show his level of skill, but unfortunately that attack was the one that kind of cost him a little bit of momentum. And Razo doing an excellent job just trying to make sure you get the answer. I do like the fact that he's walking away from Luna because he knows he's looking for those back airs. And no amount of DI can actually save you <laughs> from from the actual Luna cross slash. Still, Razo ahead in the game in terms of percent, but not stock. And Luna comes back with so much aggression. He's making sure that that no tech was actually just a fluke. And he's making sure that things are even between him and Razo as much as possible. Uh, here we go. Dead even percents right here. I actually didn't see how <laughs> Luna took the stock. I was looking away. But uh, dead even percents, actually. 68.4 to 68.2, you know, if that matters. He just <laughs> right. threw the oh. stitch eye again. Another gimp with the immediate down smash. I'm Dude, looking at Razo. I'm telling you, Razo knows this matchup, especially from playing in Smash 4. I I I'll admit, like, he, he bodied my cloud in Smash 4. I, I don't know <laughs> All right, but... Luna attacking with these fairs, getting back onto the stage with the neutral air. Definitely has a bit of momentum on his side. That up smash is not going to register. 136 though, Razo has to tread lightly. Or otherwise, he loses his stock and he's in a pretty bad position. Yeah. Dash tag, not going to do much for him, man. At least Razo's looking for the corner and there's limit on Luna. He's able to toss him the turn up. He's got so much pressure. He, this is a good opportunity because he wants Luna to burn the, the limit, Ooh. trying to recover, but that's not going to be what's happening here. All right, not too much time left on this limit, though, so he's got to make use of it somehow. Let's see. Oh, doesn't even it get just the time, ran out. man. And you know Luna knew that it was about to run up because he went for the immediate uh, reversal on the on the um, neutral special. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh there yeah, he two goes, turns. Man. That was three games. That was straight up just three games. Didn't matter what percent Luna was at. Like, he just. Razo did what he gotta do. This matchup might be bad, dude. Two oh, turnips, no. three gimps, and a cloud main. That's literally what happened. It might be bad, actually. Because <laughs> it might actually be bad. <laughs> it might actually be a bad matchup for cloud. Like, or as opposed to, like, back in Smash 4, it was pretty much like, yo, man, this thing is actually in cloud's favor. This game is. That was more of a high tier, and Peach is definitely more of a top tier. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, we see a lot of, uh, especially like Spargo, he's putting in work with the character. Luna is putting in work with the character. Mm -hmm. uh, quite, not quite seeing it here. I mean, he's playing really well, but Razo just knows how to take these stocks away from the character. So. Yeah, he knows the oh, character is very capable. This is such a big oh. combo. Oh, Ooh, the fair, he's gone? No, he's got limit. Oh! oh. God! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I can't watch. He told him, look, bro, I'm coming from a region known as the IE. People go really far out there. All right. Uh, he, he wanted to let Luna know. Yo, man, you're part of my highlight reel. Oh, but Luna strikes back. He's like, hold on, man. I'm making sure I get in my own combo video, too. Be on the lookout for it. Absolutely. Good parry. Nice. Gets the back air. Opportunity here for Razo. Tosses in the turn if he wants to get that Dude, gimp. He got oh almost a god. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think Luna had his double jump there, so he was able to immediately double jump up B. I think, like, the, the first hit of that down smash just, like, sends him into tumbles down so fast in a position where if he didn't have a jump, that he wouldn't make it back. And that's what we saw in the, in the first game. So. Mm -hmm. That's something that Luna has to keep in mind now, and he very much did so in that situation. And here's a down throw from Razo. Tries to chase <laughs> the dude he had. I mean, he had the right idea. Barely off the mark. Up there into oh. the finishing touch, man. That's still in the game. Let's go. Good opportunity because we did see Luna kind of Mix it up a little bit with a couple empty hops, and then he kind of just caught Razo off guard. Oh, there's yeah. the turnip, and there's the stock. Razo strikes back. He's making sure, dude. You know what? If Luna's ahead, he's not ahead for too that long. We're on our last stock. A lot of damage coming out from Razo right here by the ledge. He's got Luna where he wants him. He's going to just use that up B, similar to Krom, just kind of a get off me option. Mm -hmm. but 
good out of shield last night. He parried it. He parried it on the way down and still got hit by the landing hitbox. All right. Pretty cool. I'm gonna charge some limit. Dude, none of these cross slashes are registering. <laughs> Back air. Down so nice. Down stage, one more oh. turn up. Dash attack from Raza right here, pulling some turn ups, just applying so much pressure, just maintaining presence. Down tilt into the fair. Whoa. Okay. Upper. Luna has a chance right here. He's got Razo off stage now. Entering this ledge trapping phase, put him back off there with the back air. He's just facing these back airs consistently. That may be his best call right now is to just. Play as patiently as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna run into that dash deck. Oh, Raza looking for the opportunity to catch Luna on the landing. It's the up air, so close. Oh, oh no, and he Ooh. missed the climb hazard and the up smash. I don't shoot because that down smash is not safe. <laughs> no, and Luna taking it oh in that game too. One game apiece for both players here in winner semis of Mega Smash Mondays. By the way, this is Edmund on the mic, in case you didn't see me on the camera, but uh, I joined just for winter semis. Not just for winter semis, I just joined as of winter semis. Mm -hmm. Of course, we, if you guys don't know, we usually do commentator swaps. Usually a couple blocks in. Yeah, I was on earlier, but I had to get off because I had to um, talk to some people, but yeah, you, you actually pulled it. Yeah, no worries, dude. Lo, 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 I got lo, lo, you. Lo, lo, lo. I'm going to check who Luna <coughs> Nice. Today. Good cross today. slash. He's using the cross slash to slowly advance Raza to the corner and it's really got to three gets the percent. This is two back airs. Raza comes strikes back with another great combo here. He nearly pulls over because he knows he sees the tech here, so he stops himself. Slowly waiting to see how Luna's gonna respond. Luna's got 15 seconds of flame with that limit, but unfortunately expends it thinking Raza might go for the fearful rollback. Razo keeping Luna trapped at the ledge right here, just throwing out aerials, throwing out that forward air, forcing a reaction. You can see any time uh, Luna is forced to recover low, Razo's trying to time this down smash. A really good tool right here. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, nice. Smart of Luna to just immediately spot dodge too, just avoiding that grab altogether. Nair, turn up. Forces Luna to go claw low. That's kind of one of the things why we see Razo always still tossing the turn up. He's making sure if Luna makes any kind of recovery, he's not going to go for an air dodge recovery. He's going to have to go low. So he could try to go for a game there. Okay, up throw turn up right there. All right, just threatening with the back air, forcing Luna into shield, going to get that grab, toss him back off stage. Luna used Rinse Climb Hazard at the right opportunity because that, that turn up was actually so close. If he didn't use Climb Hazard that low, he was a goner. Yeah, and he didn't have too much time to use it as well, so uh, before it just evaporates. All right, both players still on the first stock right here. Luna trailing just by a bit, 156%. Any stray hit might do him in, especially a back air by the ledge. A forward air will definitely do the trick. But likewise for Luna right here, back air by the ledge, probably going to take the KO. And I, I like didn't mean Razo's, but <laughs> Razo heard me and he's like, yeah, I got yeah. one too. He's like, I got you, fam. <clears throat> don't, worry, don't worry about it. We people from the IE, we have to stick together. Down tilt, this is going to be such a big corner carry. Not that big, but still enough to put Luna a little bit on the back foot. Swings the golf club and no kill for Luna just yet. I do like the fact that uh, Luna is understanding, like, okay, I can get this up smash, but I have to be a little bit more careful. I don't see a lot of back airs coming out from Luna, and I feel like he's losing his composure because he's that far behind. Lose your air for the opportunity here. Oh, okay. What a read. Catching a double jump and sniping with the turn up. Razo looking like an absolute menace out here. Three stocks to one right now. Definitely in danger of losing the stock anytime at 147. But can Luna do it? That's the trick. Up to the, till this point, Razo's been untouchable for the Yeah. Woo! Good back air. That's kind of one of the things I want to see Luna pull out a little bit more. He has kind of been hesitant to go for them. Nice. Good use of direction there. Dodge. Misses the limit blade beam. Turn up down. No. 
Nice. He's using those forward airs a little bit more, but you got to be careful of that cool down oh. and start up. He's still living, though. Not. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, he's, he's got some limits. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Just, just call it, man. Time of death. I don't understand. All right, that was so interesting. So, <laughs> Razo with the expert turn up snipes, getting him twice. I think maybe even three times. Though after he got hit by the first turn up, he had just a little bit left to mm -hmm. get that limit. I feel like he could have just charged limit and dipped low and recovered. Yeah. You know, because or, or or even gone for the high recovery and snapped the ledge, but. Yeah, he, he had more options. Instead, he took the second tournament. Mm -hmm. After that second tournament, he was he was done. And that's one of those things Luna has to kind of understand is like the way that Razo's kind of conditioning him to pick the landing from that low. If I were Luna, man, I would have gone for the high recovery because Razo has been going for that low coverage every single time. Kind of mix up your recovery, man. There's more than one way to survive. Well, game four here. We'll see if Luna gets another shot or uh, Razo's going to get another ride to the winners' finals. Yeah, absolutely. Game number four. Back on PS2, I think we played the entirety of the set on this stage. Not really to anyone's surprise. <laughs> right, it is, it is the new uh, Smash World the game. Stadium, PS2, because yeah. PS2 makes the best game. I stole that, I'm telling you, 100%. Yo, man, PS2 had like some of the best, that was the best, that was like hands down one of the best comps. Oh, cross slash right here, Luna. Just racking up tons of damage, of course, from center stage, not gonna be able to take the KO. But, I mean, that's one of the differences of, like, ha having uh, Cloud in this game with a uh, time limit on your uh, limit that, mm -hmm. you know, with Smash 4, you could just hold on to it until the moment you needed it or just abuse the stat buffs that you get. But right there, he was like, okay, I don't have too much time. I'm just going to have to use it. And up smash out of shield again. Finding success for Luna right here. 77% only on his first stock. Limit almost online. There it is. Ooh, big damage, 27, dude. And he almost converted, too, into that back end. Oh, good follow-up there. Not letting Razzle have the opportunity to just rest even on the ground. Razzle with the stage control here, back throw. Oh, no, Yo, no, my man no. was actually Razzle the recovery. Dude, he tried to take oh Luna God. with him, but Luna escapes that Luna, last second. Luna almost killed himself. He, he almost, almost did. He almost off himself, but... Still in it, three stocks to one. I really love the recoveries from Luna because he's not just going for the straight up B to the ledge, but he's going, dipping below the ledge and uh, doing a reverse up B so that the yeah. hitbox comes oh. out. The IE sniper, ladies and gentlemen, gets another one on the mark. Okay, I like that. These two hits of the cross slash. Just kind of registers fun. on the shield and lets go. But Yo, <laughs> Razzle just found 76% in the bargain bin yeah. the minute Luna misplaced. Yeah. yeah. Had his back to the wall. He oh said, I don't matter. Fortunately for uh, Razzle's back is not against the wall. It's going to be almost off the stage. The minute cross slash gets on the corner. Can he survive? Hey. But unfortunately, the roll get up. Absolutely not. The roll get up. Getting caught by that forward smash. Luna at the ready. And we got a game number five. Yeah, man, we told Winter you guys, Sanders, right? Man. This is how we do it at MSM, man. Mm -hmm. Luna, I'm telling you, this guy is the freshest up and coming player right now. I don't get me wrong. He we always knew he Luna was good, was good yeah. cuz he can he kind of came out and like you know, he did some stuff in Smash 4 with Cloud. But at the beginning of this game he wasn't really like as active. I was just talking to him and now he's like more on a grind cuz he's got his schedule a little bit more figured out. And just in the last week I've mentioned I mean he he has a win over T3 Dome, not ranked but really solid player. Mm -hmm. Sweet T ranked. Mhm. Mm I'm hip twice, ranked. That's mm -hmm. already three PR wins. And uh, potentially on the verge of another one right here against Razo. And just today to get here, he beat Tater Nader, who is unranked, but yeah. really good. And uh, Previously ranked also Smash HLB, yeah. who is also not ranked, but another an really an solid another player. Another great player. Let's so the game number five. All right, well, hopefully Luna's uh, hopes and dreams are looking to slip a little bit away in stock one, but we'll see how things go because he tends on sometimes he's under the wire. Oh, Razzle making it. sure, man. You, you can get you get wins on ranked players, but uh, not gonna be me. Can't be me. <laughs> right? You never want to be the guy who gets eliminated who says like, "Oh, I'm not gonna get eliminated." Been okay. there. Opportunity here for Razzle to just take control of center stage. Good opportunity to look for a whip punish and he spaces himself out of the side B. Yeah, the hardest thing so far that I've seen for Luna is that it's, he's like, like having trouble finding these openings. He finds one there just as I say it with that forwarder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of the times like 
Okay. Ooh. He's finding success out of. Uh, oh my god, dude. Big brain plays, ladies and gentlemen. Big brain plays. Luna, <laughs> Luna, Luna should have jumped off and, like, did a uh, cross slash in the opposite direction. Oh! Never mind. Don't listen yeah. to me, dude. Luna's in winner semis of MSM right now. One stock up on Razo. Game number five. Finally, fair. Another opportunity here, but unfortunately, Razo makes the call out, takes a solid trade, only 14% to take for it. I definitely was worth the risk. The parry tries to fall with a dash tag. Unfortunately, that's not gonna be enough frames for Raza to land that one. I feel that Raza's slowly understanding, like, okay, hold up, I actually need to make sure I have consistently center stage. Oh, there's oh, a turn up. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, no, he's back. I, I didn't think he had a jump. I'm sorry. I Same. I saw Dot Eyes hit him, so I thought he was literally just gone. Or throw. Nice. Wants stage control instead. All right, charges the limit, gets it back just in the nick of time. That was great because he was able to recover a lot more safely. Uh, the first he could have made it. He could have made it back without the limit as well, but he decided to expend it just for the sake of safety. Maintain this stock lead on Razo right now. Razo getting the trap right there, forcing him to land right in front of him, getting that back air in. Only 79% to make up for here. Oh, gets hit by the uh, cross slash on the cross up. <laughs> right? That's the best That's the best kind of cross slash you're trying to make. Hopefully Raza has a lot of things saved, but tries to go for a couple damage. I do like the fact that he immediately just goes back to the corner here. He doesn't like trying to land on Cloud because we know how that goes back from Smash 4. Looking for spacing. Good opportunity here. Looking for a whiff punish. We don't see Luna approach with back air. He's done the double. Here's his opportunity. Cross slash getting to a point where it may just kill uh, outright. I mean, definitely with limit right now. He chooses to expend it, mm -hmm. hits the shield. Razo gonna fade back, pull some turnips. Caught by this dash attack though. Luna in another favorable position here by the ledge. Let's see what he's gonna do. Uh, he didn't really like. It's it's hard because I, I don't really know like what like clouds like ledge trapping options really are. I think he can kind of like try to space back air towards the ledge and get a reaction that way. But yeah, empty hops, it, back airs. Yeah. So he just dashed back in that situation and Raza was able to get back to the stage freely. But. Okay, Raza mounting his comeback slowly but surely a forward air, not gonna take the KO. Nice stall with the cross slash to avoid the turn -ups. Luna just prolonging his second stock right here just a little bit longer. Razo on the verge of taking a dip to the loser's bracket early, man. Yeah, 136 on Luna's cloud. Literally, you can tell Razo is fishing forward with those forward airs. A little bit of respect here. Walks up with shield, knowing that, uh, the fact that Luna might be trying to go for an opportunity just to cause him to hit too. No reaction, but he oh, immediately nice. pushes him for going for the platform. Okay, Luna's at the ledge. What's he gonna do? Trying to find his way back to center stage. Mm -hmm. yeah, this up he's out of shield is doing wonders for Luna. Yeah, they're really good at really good like get off me options. Oh, oh no. he's got bomb. Yeah, oh. that's it. He had to throw bomb away. The timer was gonna go off eventually. Yeah, there was nothing that uh, Raza really could have done about that. All right, turn up the dash attack. That's a quick 24. Halfway there, literally, man. <laughs> I mean, minus one percent. Right. We get it. Yeah, we get it. We get it. We good. Man. Quick map. Oh, Razzle oh, strikes back. Oh, no. Luna looking at the cause victory. Oh, he almost gets the upper and he lands the front of Razzle so close oh, that he's able to avoid the limit blade beam. He really just went for it. That was so close. That back I would have connected would have killed Razzle the left for sure. All right. War of attrition right here as both players trying to space their aerials. Gets punished, Razo, oh. as he goes for the turn up pull, ends up off stage, and the down air to spike Luna with yet another PR win here at MSM. Moving on to winner's finals. Yeah, man, you gotta watch out for these cloud mains out here. They're definitely hidden bosses, but they're out here looking to make sure 